Welcome to another time with a quick word for you. My name's Mahari Warfield, and I'm here to just give a quick morning encouragement, proclaiming the message of the cross, Jesus Christ and Him crucified, man's only answer for his dilemmas and his ailments. Welcome again. If you didn't do so already, take a few moments and subscribe. Underneath the screen, you'll see the opportunity to subscribe. We're also working on a website where we'll be able to actually interact, answer some questions, um, any requests of, of topics. We want to deal with that here. Our time is short. This isn't designed to be a long-winded thing, so I'm going to get right in. Earlier, we started talking about Romans 6, verse 3 and 4. And I want to kind of continue on that vein is what I really feel led to do. We talked the other time about know ye not that so many of us who were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. We talked about know ye not that how important knowledge is, that if you don't know it, you can't believe it. And if you can't believe it, you can't receive the grace or the power of God that only moves through faith. Also, it's important to, we talked about the newness of life. In the Greek, it means a new life-giving source. It means you don't have to draw from the streams you drew from before. And that because simply faith in who Jesus is and what he did for you, you're already dead. But there were some other things I wanted to capitalize on, one being baptized into Christ. You know, when you're baptized, that word in the Greek is baptizo, and it has some great meanings to it. If you've given your life to Jesus Christ at any point in time, you recognize that you don't have what it takes. And, you know, that's an issue in today's day and age. Everybody wants to stroke up, you know, flesh and pride so much that there's a blessing in knowing I'm inadequate. You don't have to try to perform and be something that you're not. If you're weak, you're weak because the Bible says, let the weak say I'm strong. But until you admit it, you can't even get the grace of God for that issue. But there's something in baptism, the word baptizo, which talks about taking something and changing it from an old state to a new. It goes back to a person that would dunk a leather belt. And they would keep dunking it to get it into the right color. And every time they take it and dunk it, they lift it up and inspect it. You know, baptizo is, to, is where the person who's in charge of, of the craftsman, the craftsman of your life, says it's ready when he says it's ready. You know, religion will say that you're ready now. They've called people and made them pastors and preachers and prophets. But you know, when God says you're ready, you're ready. Because we're his workmanship. Hallelujah. And you today, this word of encouragement is that if you've been baptized into Jesus Christ, you're in a process called sanctification where he's conforming you into his image. And sometimes you don't see things the way that you thought it should be. You may say, well, I still lack in this area. I still have those evil thoughts. I still sometimes want to do that which I shouldn't do. I've got good news for you. Don't stop believing. Don't stop clinging to the cross because it's a process. That belt has to get, keep being dunked. And every day, even these little times that we have when we, when we take and look at what the Word of God says, He's using that information, that knowledge to dunk you again. Let the Holy Spirit baptize you into Christ. Amen. Let Him put you in Christ because in the Word of God, you'll see so many things that give you a promise of who you are in Christ or by Christ or through Christ or with Christ. You know that that refers exclusively to the death, burial, and resurrection because it doesn't have to say that each time. It's implied. So you're in Christ. You say, how did I get there? Because you believed God. Because you believed the report that said he did it and you weren't able to, to complete it yourself and he did it for you. And you, by placing simple faith in that work that was done, God places you into the body of Christ. That's the baptism that counts. You need water, 
But let me tell you something. If you don't get to the water like the thief on the cross, you're already being baptized. Amen. That's the one baptism that counts. And I'm here to tell you today, if you refine your faith today, let this be a day of refined faith. Let this be a day where you recognize you're in Christ. I heard a brother say it this way. You're in Christ. And if you move your elbows, you'll start feeling his ribs. Amen. Can't you feel his ribs today? Can't you see that you're in Christ? And as a result, you've got a new life-giving source. He's called the power of the Holy Spirit. Let him change your life today. And we're going to pray. Right now, if you're driving, you might be um, invited to this site again. You may um, just want to, to hear another word and see if it's going to be different today. I'm here to tell you we're going to pray and seek God's face. And God's going to make this that day that you need it. And if things were starting to go the wrong way, let's claim, amen, that it's going to turn out because the knowledge and the faith in that knowledge is going to make this day reverse for you. Somebody needs to hear that right now. Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that what we can't get accomplished in our own, the power of the Holy Spirit will do it for us, not by might, not by power but by the Spirit. Hallelujah. And Lord, right now as we place faith in the exclusive work of Jesus Christ and what he did on Calvary, Lord, let that in Christ's position today hold us down. Let that alter the mind. Let that alter the activities that we would do if we didn't have your power supply. Father, we rely on you. We acknowledge our weakness. We don't have what it takes, but you do. And by the authority in Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Thanks again for a quick word for you where we proclaim Jesus Christ and him crucified exclusively as the only answer for man's ailments. God bless you and you have a great day.